I want to share a story with you about how being heartfelt and following following the aliveness of what's coming through you in a message creates clients, creates impact without you're even necessarily trying to do that intentionally. And so this happened a couple of years ago. I was part of uh, my mentor, Michael Neal's course called Fearless Living. And so we were exploring, as you might imagine, the nature of fear. And I was inspired to write a story called Tea with Demons. And I'm not going to read it to you now. It's short, but I'll link to it with the replay. So if you want to read it, you can. Um, I wrote a story called Tea with Demons. And it's really about dealing with our emotions and our fear. And I shared it in the online community for that program. And without my knowing that this was going to happen, um, Michael read that story to a live on Zoom to about 200 people and didn't even mention my last name, actually. But it did reference that, you know, Stephanie posted this in the forum. And within 24 hours, I had people reaching out to me about that story. I believe he actually read it on another program that I wasn't a part of also. And I had three new client inquiries. And I ended up through those relationships that came to me through that story, which had nothing to do with business, which had nothing to do with what I actually do as a coach. It's a story about tea with demons, of all things, a spiritual teaching story, actually. I had five clients and or students, members of my community come to me that way. Now, how the hell did that happen? It clearly was not something I planned. It wasn't something I could have made happen. I couldn't predict that. I didn't do it with that intention. So what was happening? I see a few elements here that I'll share with you. Because this isn't a formula. This isn't something you can repeat and copy. But it is something that you have access to, all of these things. And the first is following your aliveness. I wrote that story because I was moved to write that story because there was a message in me that wanted to be expressed. And I did it. Not because I thought it was going to get me anything, because it just occurred to me to do. It wanted to be expressed, and I I put my fingers on the keys, and I did it. And the second thing I did there was I shared it. I shared it in a forum because it occurred to me to do so, not because, again, this is not a place that I was going to get clients. This was a forum about a a personal growth or spiritual growth program. This was not a place for me to go and solicit clients. That's not what I was doing. I didn't do that. But I did share it. And the third thing that was at play, I think that if I had just shared that story, And there wasn't a trail of breadcrumbs for people to follow to find out more about me. Those people who read that story or heard that story and were moved by it probably never would have reached out to me. But I had a focused intention to make it easy for people to find me and to know what I did. And in fact, I create many pieces of content. This story was not one of them. But I create many pieces of content intentionally to deliver value to people and make it easy for them to find so that if they like it, they can come to me and learn more. And I've done this in my my whole business career. I've been doing this for a long time, and it feels very natural and very generous. And even in my hypey days, it was still one of my favorite things to do. So those are the, the three very simple things that you can do. Follow the aliveness of what wants to be expressed through you. Share it. Share it with people so they can discover that message, whether it's on a YouTube channel, whether it's on social media, whether it's in a a regular old email to your friends, you put it on your website, 
or you share it in a conversation with someone you actually speak to in real life, share what's in your heart. And then finally, have have an intention, not one that you're doing these things for, but the more you have an intention to create something, like value for your clients, like new relationships, and yes, money also, that becomes a part of the overall picture. It's not done for the sake of that, but it's also present, and it makes a difference.